Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Solar 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with our best buddy, Brother Dan. Wow, what an introduction. <laughs> okay, today's date is what? Today is um, May 19th, 2021. Okay, so I got a hair razor prophecy um, first thing this morning, not what I thought I was getting, so I might still be getting another one. Uh, Brother Dan is going to read the scripture. So what's the difference between a humdinger and a hair razor? Uh, well, <laughs> they can tell you under the comments once they hear this. I thought it was a hair razor. Okay. Uh, we're going to be in the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verses 9 and 10. And uh, glad to be here on God's Hiller 7. So here we go. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginnings and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. You're up. Look at this. I got the Holy Spirit. I didn't even say a word. Okay, so once again, I got this first thing this morning, um, and it's a hair razor. Wait till you hear this. Okay, so here we go. Daughter, speak of the coming alien invasion. Speak of the deception and lies. Ancient tombs will be opened. Many will faint and hearts will fail men. Now is the time to seek after me, I am. Do not be deceived. You will see signs in the sun, moon, and stars. I am always with you. These are perilous times. Your enemies will be those in your own house. I have warned you to trust no man. And evil is coming and will try to subdue the weak. I have placed my angels among you. I tell you again, fear not what your eyes are about to see. Continue on the narrow path. Be holy as I am holy. Fear not, these things must come to pass. For as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Look up, your redemption is nigh. Oh, okay, hair razor. Yeah, my hair's standing up. Okay, mine is too. I never had anything about um, alien um, invasion. What I do have out there is the return of the angels of rebellion. And I think this is who this is. There was so much scripture in there. Every time you would read a line, I would think of it like the dead in Christ yep. rising first and um, the strong delusion. And I could go on and on. Yep. Yes. There's so much in there. It is. It's jam packed with everything. So I'm going to say what I always say. Uh, pretty much based on this, this hair razor, this is it. We're at the end. He doesn't speak any plainer than this. He's using simple um, language. He's telling us, I have another prophecy out there about the angels are already here and they're already with us uh, and um, I want to say looking over after us. So it's, don't be deceived what's coming. You need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, we can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. And again, uh, Brother Dan and I have the gift of prophecy. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can look it up in 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 12. Uh, Brother Dan, do you want to thank everybody? Um, yes. Uh, again, I was reading the comments today, and um, the first thing I want to do is, I mean, the people that do all that hard work, transcribing it. Isn't that fabulous? Yes, and uh, I saw, you know, today I was looking at somebody who transcribed it to Italian, and um, we do appreciate that. We appreciate the support that we get, and um, sometimes what happens is when we get some financial um, assistance, um, I try to thank somebody and I, it doesn't have a valid email. So that's one of the reasons why I want to make sure we thank the people that do help us. And, and I had a few thank you cards come back in the mail too. So if you didn't right. get one, it most likely came back. Yeah, so whether it, you know, we got the wrong address or we can't send you an email, we do appreciate it and we, we thank the comments. And, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to agree with us as long as you're polite. We, you know, we appreciate that and we appreciate you picking up one another because we're all the same body. And, um, you know, it is glad to be here. And I just want to, you know, take tangent, go off on a tangent just for a minute to um, say hello to some people that I haven't talked to in a while. Um, Jean um, in Missouri, um, hope you're doing well. Hope you planted those pear trees and everything is fine. Uh, <laughs> Bruce, no. in Col <laughs> Bruce in Colorado, I hope you had a good tax season. Um, Robin, um, the, Mar Marisol, um, Fred from down in North Carolina, 
um, our friends across the pond in England, um, your buddy in Bulgaria. Yeah, all of our buddies, yep. Ivo. Ivo. Some of them are 10 years our buddies here. Yes, and uh, we, you know, we've had people on here quite some time, and it, I saw one comment, no, we did not have 1.6 million views on one of our videos. <laughs> I wish so we don't, did. Yeah, so don't believe everything you see. Uh, no, someone see. told me that before, that, yeah. that they saw that right. on there, but that's and, not true. And, um, you know, keep the comments coming. Keep the prayers coming, and uh, we do, uh, both of us go over the comments, and we try to do what we can. And um, all I can say again is we do appreciate, as we're getting near the end, I mean, prophecies are going to start being fulfilled. They already are yeah, starting. Already. If um, you know, And I'm going to go on a tangent again, because I haven't been on here a while. Yeah, so just, ahead, so just Dad, bear, no, ahead. just bear, just bear <laughs> with me, um, you know. Sometimes what happens is, you know, Sister Barbara or I will, will get something and, um, you know, people see it. Um, the three days of darkness, well, we didn't have the three days of darkness. I mean, that's not how God works. I mean, you're looking for the, an eclipse and for it to be dark for three days. That's not what he means by three days of darkness. So unless you know him and you get to know him and to know what he means, once you get to know him, you'll have a better idea how he works. Yes, he's like a God of numbers. He's a God of numbers. He's a God of dates. Um, he, you know, he's perfect. And you should try to get to know him. He wants you to know him. He wants you to read his word. I mean, there's no one that I know that has the patience that he has. In it, and, and he wants every lash, um sheep to come in. I mean, nobody has the patience and puts up with all this stuff well, more than him. Well, what do I always say? If I were him, I would have made yes. everybody an ash already. But, um, already. <laughs> you know, just like in the days of Noah, you know, the time will come, or in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, eventually, you know, it's, it's the end game, and it's going to happen. And, you know, you have to be prepared for that. Brother Dan, I know you read the Bible a few times from yeah, the back. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know but, your stuff. Well, some stuff. But again, it's glad to be here. I know you don't see me. Um, sometimes I'm the guy that's answering the comments and I've been doing so much stuff um, behind the scene and I had three surgeries. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three, yeah she, she knows what behind the scene means. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff going on with both our parents and we do appreciate the prayers yes, so for sad. them and um, you know all the assistance and support you give us and we ask you to keep on doing it because you know, and I see this comment more than us. We're almost home, and we're gonna all be up there, um, <laughs> you know, high-fiving each other that we made it. So that's about it. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, we love you guys. Thank yep. you for everything. Shalom. God bless you.